Hey gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, we are talking layering combos. The perfumes in this video are a part of my Arabian perfume collection, which by the way has grown quite a bit, but I've really been trying to use up my perfumes. And so I love thinking of new combos. I love it when you all share your fragrance combos with me. Once again, I've been playing mixologist and I have some combos here that I really enjoyed and I think you will enjoy as well so if you're always looking for new combos so that you can really get the most out of your perfume collection then please keep watching hey friend welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me on another video i am super duper excited that you're here and to those of you who may have just stumbled across my channel on this channel i talk luxury i do review videos i share my fragrance journey and i also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle in my monthly vlogs so if any of those things pique your interest if they sound good to you then i would love to have you here so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop all right let's get into it today I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about all of the specific notes in every single fragrance because this video would go way over instead what I'll do is I'll post the notes on the screen for your reference so that we can keep it moving this first combination consists of Kisa Pink by Paris Corner Kisa Pink is a very interesting fragrance. It has this tropical and lactonic quality. It has a coconut, it has apple, and I love how creamy and sweet and fruity this comes across. It's very heavy on the creamy aspect, the lactonic aspect in my opinion. Really to my nose, what I get from Kisa Pink is apple and coconut. And I know there are a lot of other notes, but those are the two notes that I get the most. And I feel like the apple gives it the fruity sweetness and the coconut gives it like the meatiness and the milkiness. This fragrance has florals at the mid, but they're not very prominent to my nose. This fragrance also has sandalwood and cedarwood, vanilla and musk at the base. And I do detect the vanilla, I do detect the musk, but I feel like the woods are very toned down in this fragrance. This fragrance opens up fruity, but not like a juicy fragrance fruity more like a creamy fruit and it does have a tropical vibe because of the coconut in here so the coconut is not done in your typical fashion but it does lend to a little bit of a tropical nuance in this fragrance so I decided to pair Kisa Pink with Melon Kiss by Navitas and Gabby Loves Perfumes both of these fragrances are very new to my collection this one extremely new and I really love this fragrance I've been reaching for it over and over again Again, this fragrance has a fruit which is melon and coconut at the mid so again you have a creamy fruit nuance this also has like a creamed honey so it dries down to a very cozy creamy silky sort of honeyed vanilla vibe that's how this dries down and so I felt like these two fragrances would complement one another because they have fruits and they have coconut and they have this creamy and slightly lactonic nuance I'm gonna go ahead and spray both of them on paper to refresh my memory on this combo oh yes oh yes y'all this is this is so beautiful this is good wow this is so good so these two fragrances together make for a combo that's irresistible and very addictive you get an overdose of fruit because the melon combines with the apple and the melon adds to the juicy effect and then you get a very hefty dose of creaminess from the coconut and vanilla in this fragrance this also has sandalwood so that could be why this one is super duper creamy and slightly lactonic and then you get that creamed vanilla and honey with this one which ugh, is just chef's kiss i really love this combo so if you have these two fragrances i would highly recommend pairing them together and let me know what you think about this combo the next combo consists of Jair pistachio by paris corner and tasquine caramel cascade these are fragrances that have been hyped and for good reason they are amazing in my opinion very good value and very very close dupes for their respective 
OG fragrances. I have talked about Jair Pistachio in several videos now, so I'll link one here for you. But this fragrance is very fun. It's very creamy. It's very candy-like. It's very fluffy with the marshmallow. This does differ from the OG because this has more of a freshness and a slight soapiness to my nose. So the aspects I enjoy about this fragrance are that it has this marshmallow sort of fluffy effect and it also has a candy-like vibe. So when I smell this, my mind tends to go to a carnival where there is cotton candy and then you also have those deep fried sweet treats so this smells sweet it smells fluffy it smells slightly creamy there is a slight saltiness to this probably because of the pistachio this is just a really well balanced sweet fragrance that has slightly savory components as well so I thought it would be absolutely fitting to pair this with a fragrance that also has a sweet salty vibe and sort of puts me in the mind of sweet savory and caramel Cascade does exactly that because not only is this very sweet and creamy like tonic it has caramel in it and caramel has a sweet salty vibe sort of a sweet savory effect it has a salt in it that sort of balances the sweetness out and I feel like that's present here in Jair Pistachio so together these two fragrances are sweet but they have this element that balances the sweetness cuts through the sweetness and this one is very very fluffy so what I did is I went in with Caramel Cascade first and because this is a heavier fragrance it's not really like a springtime fragrance in my opinion I sprayed this on first and then to lighten it up I went in with Jair Pistachio so together I feel like these two are a great perfume match so if you have these two and you try this combo out please check back in and let me know how this combo works out for you this next combo y'all is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous this was definitely an experiment that went right I totally was not expecting this to go well but it surprised me it shocked me and the combo I'm talking about consists of December vanilla again by Paris Corner because Paris Corner is just doing their thing this one is a dupe for another Kayali perfume it has almost identical notes so I'll put the notes up on the screen here so that you can see what this fragrance consists of but this is a rum spiked creme brulee with a very crystallized hard and torched top you know how they torch the creme brulee top this one has loads of sugar crystals on top and then it's been torched and that's how I would describe this fragrance and the creme brulee in this fragrance is very thick and rich you know how some creme brulees are thinner than others this one is a very thick creme brulee so when you break through that sugared crust of the creme brulee with your spoon you're hit with that vanilla and that rum and this is just so delectable this also has a floral component as well and so this is just a very complex and gorgeous very sexy fragrance this dupe in particular is a lighter version of the OG so this one is not quite as beast mode as the OG this is a beautiful moderate to high performing fragrance depending on how you spray it so because of the complexity of that fragrance I was not expecting it to go so well with Jair Fusion Lychee, again by Paris Corner. I don't know why these two go so well together. I still can't quite describe it. But what I do know is that Jair Fusion is bright, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's sweet. But the dry down of this one is a little bit more creamy. I feel like this one is also less candy-like compared to the OG, another Kayali fragrance. Kayali is a fragrance house that's known for layering. So that probably has something to do with why the dupes go really, really well together. So this combo is amazing. What I did was I went in first with December Vanilla and then to lighten it up and make it more spring-like, I went in with Kair Fusion. What I got was something absolutely amazing. I'm gonna spray them on a strip of paper so that I can refresh my memory. But this combo, y'all, this was so unexpected but so pleasant. Y'all, this is so good. It smells so expensive. It is amazing. If you're the type of person that doesn't like a juvenile smelling fruity fragrance, you want some complexity to your fruity fragrance. If you have these two fragrances or if you have the two OG fragrances or if you have an OG and a dupe, please try this out because it is amazing. Oh my goodness, this is so good y'all. So, so good. The complexity in this mixed with the fruity juiciness 
is everything for those of you who love a good niche fragrance something that smells expensive this combo is for you december vanilla is a complex fragrance it's a warm spicy sweet creamy boozy fragrance with a floral nuance and then you have Hayer fusion lychee which has lots of fruit it has a water-like vibe it's very juicy and it also has a creamy component on the dry down so these two are really really beautiful together so this next combo was brought to my attention by one of my beautiful subbies she is always sharing amazing combos with me so I definitely wanted to try this one out and this one consists of once again higher fusion lychee by Paris corner and it also consists of another fragrance that we've both recently fallen in love with this one is noir d'arabi by Pandora sense which is also a Paris corner brand so when she brought this combo to my attention I immediately thought contrast noir d'arabi is is vanilla it's ambery it's warm spicy there's a rose tone to this fragrance there's an oud in here so it has a woody vibe and it also is just very sugary sweet I don't know if I mentioned that already but it has tonka bean sugar and amber at the base so this fragrance is bold it's floral it's woody but it's also sugary sweet and then you have higher fusion lychee which again is a very sweet fragrance and this one also has rose so there is a rose Rose component to this fragrance a sweet component to this fragrance this fragrance has sugar and amber and um, vanilla at the base as well so it has a sugared base just like Noir d'Arabi it has fruits and it also has a rose component so the notes are very complementary and I feel like the brightness and juiciness of this fragrance really lifts up the deep bold and almost darkness of Noir d'Arabi. So again, I would go in with the deeper, bolder, denser fragrance first. So we're gonna spray Noir d'Arabi and then Hayer Fusion. Oh my goodness, this is another complex fragrance that is given a levity, a brightness, a juiciness that allows those of you who like a complex fragrance to still enjoy a fruity fragrance this spring. This would even be great for summer evenings. It smells so sexy, but fruity and juicy and playful at the same time. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful combination. It has that richness and that boldness from the oud. And there's also a saffron in Noir d'Arabi. And there's a moss note. There's a sugared component to it. It has amber and tonka bean. So it's very rich and sweet and woody and just really bold. But then adding higher fusion gives it a playfulness because higher fusion also has a fruity component, a sugared component, but it has the rolls and it has the creamy base. And so I feel like with these two fragrances, although there is such a big contrast, they actually come together to form something quite beautiful, quite expensive smelling, sexy and slightly playful. And I can see this being worn summer evenings for like date night or anytime this spring. This is a beautiful combo. To my subby who suggested this combo and who's always sharing amazing combos with me, you got another great combo on your hands. I love this. The next combo consists of, once again, Noir d'Arabi, and this time I paired it with Janoon Rose by Al Haramain. So these two fragrances are so complimentary, it's insane, and they smell amazing together. Not only that, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance combination. When I put this on, my kids smelled me from the living room. I was in the kitchen, and they were in the living room, and they could smell it. It projects like crazy, it fills a room, it has a sillage that sits in the air, and then both of these fragrances on their own last all day on the clothes. Again, with Noir d'Arabi, you're going to get something rosy, something warm spicy, something sugared. It has a woody component with the oud. So it's a very deep and bold fragrance that has a sugared and creamy component on the dry down. Now Janoon Rose has a very soft and very sweet and rosy presence. So this fragrance is very delicate. While it does open up very bold because it has a cherry blossom in the opening and then it has a gorgeous amaretto note which you get hit with almost right away within the 
for several minutes. This one also has a suede note, which gives it like a soft leathery vibe. Now, I don't particularly pick up a lot of leather or suede. I feel like that note gives this fragrance a little bit of complexity, similar to what the Oud does in Noir da Fabi. Also, some of the base notes in here are similar. This one has amber and tonka bean at the base, and Noir da Fabi also has amber and tonka bean. It has a sugared component, it has moss, and so I feel like these two fragrances are absolutely perfection together. The rose note in both of these fragrances is what marries them together so well. However, if you're not a big fan of rose and you're not a big fan of powdery scents, this combo may be a little bit overwhelming for you. But if you do enjoy those notes and these two fragrances, please put them together and let me know what you get. And this last combo is for those of you who just want to smell fun and sweet and fruity and girly and you just love a good gourmand fragrance. So this fragrance combo consists of Chayir Pistachio and Chayir Fusion Lychee. These two together are like a no-brainer in my opinion. You get your fruity juiciness from this fragrance right here. This has a slight floral component and then you get your fluffy marshmallow sort of candy like like whipped creaminess from this fragrance right here and the two of these together is just loads of fun and for those of you who love a good playful and sweet and creamy fragrance this is your combo right here so I think I'm gonna go in with this one first then we're gonna do this one. Oh yeah this is so fun this is perfect for any daytime event where you just want to smell sweet and fruity and juicy and just delicious. I imagine people would want to know what smells so good and what you have on because this smells so delicious and fun and playful and inviting. There's something about the pistachio mixing together with the fruity juiciness of Chayir Fusion Lychee that is unbelievable. Oh, this is so good. This is really pretty. So give these two a shot. Let me know what your experience is if you try this out. If you're still here, then I know that you are a part of the family and you absolutely love these kinds of videos. But if you're not a part of the family and you enjoy this kind of content, I make quite a bit of it on this channel and I would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. Before I go today, I just want to remind you to keep shining brightly. Don't dim your light or allow anything to dim your light because your light is so desperately needed in this world. I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.